Okay, today I'm excited because we are going to use this cake mix recipe number one. I want to show you how to use this because I love, love, love it. Okay, so I it goes, you use layer cakes when you use this. So I got a Let's Play Fisher Price layer cake, and then for my I have a Kona solids. It's all gray, okay? So those are the two I'm gonna use for this. So the way that you use this is, so you open it up and each one of these sheets tear off. Okay, so let me slide my machine back. So I am going to get one of my backing or my basic like and you could do any combination of colors but I wanted one solid and one print okay so make sure you make your sandwich or your right sides together the same if the backing is on the bottom keep the backing on the bottom if the you know what I'm saying just keep it in the same you know orientation every time or they'll be opposites okay when you the blocks will be opposites when you cut them out what you're going to do is on this star right here so there's a star right over here all right that's where you're going to start and then you're going to sew on your number one then your number two then number three number four and then back up to number five okay so line up your layer cakes right sides together and then I go ahead because I don't want to have to worry about it shifting and I pin but not on the line that you're going to sew on okay I go ahead and pin all four corners And then I go ahead and pin in the center just so nothing will move okay so we've got that set up and move my sewing machine in so y'all can see can you see yes okay all right so like I said we're gonna start on our star okay and I had went ahead and moved my um sewing down to 2.0 so that it's easier to peel the paper off after it's sewn and then you're just going to sew right on the line and I absolutely love it so you're going to sew on all the dashy dash lines and then you're going to cut on all the solid lines and it's going to go ahead and when you're cutting it out automatically square it up it makes it so easy because usually I have to go back and square everything up, but with this, it's all done. We just did number line number three, and now we'll do line number four. Now we're going to do line number five, and that's the one that's all the way down. Okay, so we're done sewing our paper. And like I said, this is what my favorite part is, okay? So now, what we're going to do is we are going to remove our pins. All right, get our rotary cutter. Make sure you know you're cutting paper with this, okay? And we're going to get a ruler, and it says right here, cut here first. So it wants you to cut this diagonal line first. So you just line it up with the solid line, okay? All right, so there's our first cut, and then look, you just go around the outside, and it squares it up, 
while you're cutting it out. And I don't know about you, but I think that's amazing. Yeah, there's a little bit of waste on the sides, but that's okay. So there's one piece. And then we're going to get four half square triangles. There we go. Okay. And everything is all squared up. So to get off the paper, you just go ahead, fold it back like this. Okay. I grab both sides of the paper like this. And I just. There we go. And this is perfect for anyone that hates squaring up or beginners or if you're trying to get a quilt done quick. Any little pieces of paper will wash out the first time you wash your quilt. So, you know, if they're in the seams, it's really not going to hurt anything. Okay, so then draw your, th your uh, ironing board out, and then on my on mine we are going to iron to the pattern side every time. So when I put them together, all the little nest. Okay, so go ahead. I I steam iron. So here we go, and then pull. We've got four of this size half square triangle and one large half square triangle. Okay, so I come in with my scissors and I cut all of these dog hairs off because they bother me and I don't want to have bulk in those side seams. So I go ahead and just, you can do it with your rotary cutter, but I don't think it's faster, so I don't do it. Come in here real quick. And see, I would do this as an assembly line. I would like sew all the papers, right? And then I would rip all the papers. No, cut them all, then rip them all, right? And then iron them all, and then cut them all. That's how I would. I wouldn't do just one at a time. Okay, but this is for a video, so, <laughs> right? I mean, so block number three is the one that we're doing, and I did another one so I could show you how this block lays out, okay? So if you're looking at it, you're just going to match up. So you're going to do your color out, right? Okay? You can't see. So we're doing our color out, large color out, large color out. And then all of the small triangles point out, all the small triangles point out. So we're doing large one out, large one out, like this, okay? And then we're going to do all of our small ones out. I'm just laying this out so you can kind of get the how this is going to go and match up. I'm not sewing these together today because I want it to be more scrappy, right? So I'm going to do all the blocks and then mix up the, mix these up, or and mix all this stuff up together, okay? But if you were going to do all one color block or two color block, that is how you would lay it out. And I'll come back when I have them all done and we will sew one of these together and then I will show how to sew them into rows. Okay.
Thank you.